With Dragon's Dogma 2 being on the horizon, I thought I would take the time to give you a quick breakdown of all the classes in this game and their advanced vocations. Now do keep in mind for the advanced vocations, not all of them are just going to be unlocked by simply leveling up. Some of them will require you to have a higher affinity or whatever you want to call it with some NPCs to unlock them. So do keep that in mind as you progress. Starting with the fighter, for those of you that are enjoying tanky play styles, this is the kind of class that will have a sword and a shield, beefy frontliner where you just like, you know, push through with brute force. So if you just enjoy this kind of tanky play style, this will be the class for you. The second class on the list, we have the mage. Mage just be in, you know, your typical um fire electricity all that stuff but do keep in mind that it will also offer supportive skills for healing and stuff like that to support your pawns or even like if you have your own pawns being the mage they can heal you third on this list for thief lovers or dagger lovers we have the thief which is basically an assassin kind of playstyle. but do keep in mind that if you go for a, a bigger build character that will slow down your dexterity but on the other hand if you go like on a smaller character then you'll have like higher dexterity for faster paced combos so you can choose whichever play style you enjoy the most and lastly on this list from the base classes we have the archer archer is your typical bow and arrows for those of you that enjoy that like safe high range high damage play style and do keep an eye on Archer considering the fact that it will have one of the best vocations in this game, if not the best vocation in Dragon's Dogma 1, which I assume would be the best vocation as well in Dragon's Dogma 2. Now moving on to the advanced vocations, and this is where things get a little interesting. And speaking of archers, let's start with the magic archer. Magic archer is this kind of like bow with a twist of magic on top of it. So basically you get the best of both worlds where you have the range of the bow and the devastating damage of magic. It does insane projectiles that can even deflect on heading a surface. So basically just like can go for eternity and deal insane amounts of damage so definitely a vocation to keep an eye out for if you want a more easy route while clearing this game second on this list of vocations we have the mystic spear hand mystic spear hand for me personally honestly is one of the best looking vocations in this game because it has like this cool spear aesthetic with fast paced playstyle, and on top of it it has some magic elements to it where you can paralyze the enemies teleport between them and have this like cool shadow fighting alongside you to deal damage to these paralyzed enemies overall just like a kind of fast paced a bit like balanced class with some uh crowd control and it looks pretty cool in my opinion so keep an eye out on this one third on this list for those of you magic enjoyers there is the sorcerer and the difference between the mage and the sorcerer is basically take the mage and make it even more powerful so you have like fire spills that are massive electricity spills that are just devastating and did i forget to mention that if you have a pawn that is a sorcerer you can even like dual cast for even bigger skills it's just nuts this is one of the classes or vocations that i think you will enjoy a lot if you're into this magic type of thing Another vocation we have on this list that is new in Dogma, uh, Dragon's Dogma 2 as far as I'm aware is the Trickster. Trickster is basically going to be this kind of class that is or vocation that is based on confusing the enemy. So basically it creates like some uh, fake images or some mobs or just confuse them and make them attack each other. It is just overall using like very unique playstyle with the mist power and it looks pretty unique. I think this is going to be something that you would enjoy if you're into ho this whole like causing confusion, summoning some mist illusions and stuff like that. Another vocation on this list that honestly speaking to me personally is not my type because it's kind of on the heavy end is the warrior i know that a lot of people enjoy this kind of like beefy great sword or hammers however it's like two-handed swords or two-handed hammer i know that a lot of people fancy that kind of play style you just like swing your beefy weapon in their faces and this vocation would be for you simply put you have this massive like two-handed weapon dealing devastating damage and i think this weapon 
is by far the highest single target weapon in this game so if you're looking for like the most damage with each one skill then warrior is the vocation for you lastly on the vocations list we have one very unique looking that is unique for dragon's dogma 2 vocation called the warfare sadly there haven't been many clips showcasing it but warfare is basically going to be the trickster of it all it's going to have everything combined in one fucking vocation basically like the the jack of trades so you can use any weapon you want to learn a mix of vocations from different classes or weapons or whichever you want to call it and even though it might sound overpowered on paper i think this one will still have its cons on the other hand i'm not sure what the cons are going to be however it's not going to be like this kind of vocation that will be the one you must get and ignore everything else so even though it's gonna combine all the different vocations of the game it will still have its own cons that we will get to figure out as we play so yeah let me know down in the comments which vocation are you interested in and don't forget that at the end of the day dragon's dogma 2 is designed for the journey for the immersion for making your own story so make sure to choose what appeals to you the most don't worry about what is strong what is weak at the end of the day you will have to make your own decisions in the game whatever vocation you choose or whatever class you choose if you're not making wise decisions proper movements proper strategies you will struggle with any vocation regardless so just choose whatever you enjoy the most and go with your journey and have fun and if you made it this far don't forget to like and subscribe as it does help me out tremendously peace